And joining us now to tell us about everything going on in Avoles Parish is Wilbert Carmouche with Avoles Parish Tourism. Wilbert, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras to you too. Thanks for being so festive. I love the shirt. Well, when you make the investment and you have such a small time to peri <laughs> period to wear it, you, you make use of it. Exactly, exactly. Well, I know that there's a lot going on at Avoles Parish coming up this uh, month. Tell us all about it. Absolutely, because tomorrow starts the Lenten se season, so we start off with the fish fries right away, you know, and uh, Beldo just jumped on it right away. We have the Beldo Casey Fish Dinner at St. Martin of Tours, and that is uh, March third from 4 30 to 6 p.m. at St. Martin of Tours on uh, in Hesmer. Really it's in the Beldo area but for more information try to get your tickets ahead of time. I'm sure there's gonna be a couple at the door but if you get your tickets ahead of time you're guaranteed that uh, that flesh plate. And then of course we're continuing on with the food we have Taste of Echo at St. Francis de Sales Church on River Road in Echo. A wonderful opportunity uh, not only to go out there and get some of the best tasting foods from the area communities. You know you, you'll probably go in there pay your $15 donation and get to eat for a couple of hours from about 25 different booths that are going to have um, you know food samples available and then you always can go back to the booth that you like the most you know okay it, so it, you just go around and kind of sample you, you, sa you sample and then you zone in on <laughs> what, what it is that you really on your like favorite. if on your favorite we went to one in uh, Lafargue Saturday evening which is a great opportunity uh, because what they do is and you you realize that you know they call of all's parish a gumbo mix of people and it's the different foods that they have you know the foods that they had in Lafarge are going to be totally different from what they have in Echo and Our Lady of Lourdes later on when they were going to do ours in May so it's a wonderful opportunity and then the bonus is is that it's always for a worthy cause oh absolutely yeah so you go home with a full stomach and they have a few dollars to help out and do their programming through the community Paragon Casino Resort does it again with DJ Troy D's Celebrity Birthday Bash. And it features Keith Frank and the Swallow, Zadi Coban, LA 26. That's always a mouthful for me. <laughs> That's at Paragon Casino Mar Resort's Maury Center on March 11th at 7 p.m. So you can go to the food tasting in Echo on that day and then go dance the evening away, burn all those calories at the birthday party. So go to their website for ticket information. Continuing with the food tradition, pop-up restaurant and that is Wednesday, March 29th, sponsored by the Avalls Arts Council. It's going to be at Bunky's Frithlin Plantation, sponsored by the Arts Council of Avalls. They use it as a fundraiser, limited tickets. We have a chef that comes in, does four courses, paired with wines for the evening. A great opportunity to even get served by the Avalls Arts Council. Uh, board as your waiters and waitresses for that evening. So that sounds then, like my kind of event. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's a fun event. It gets to be you know, quite the special event, exactly. Because <laughs> I've participated in that for many years to help them out, and it's as I said. And the bonus is again, you're keeping the arts alive in a Vols Parish That's fantastic. in Central Louisiana. Art from Literature contest sponsored by the Vols Parish Library at uh, 104 North Washington. That is a very long um, website for you to get a hold to, but if you go to their website, uh, which is the Avalos Parish Library or their Facebook page, you'll have information. And the concept there is that you grab a book from the library and then whatever you're inspired to paint and put on a canvas is what will be judged. You turn those into the library and they're going to have prizes for first, second, and third in different categories. Oh, that's neat. Yes, exactly. And then to give you a little heads up on what's coming on in April, we have, of course, first the, the Parish Crawfish Ball Championship on Saturday, April 22nd at St. Joseph's. Ticket information right there at 253-9111. And then the Casey's of Marksville are sponsoring their annual fishing tournament in Spring Bayou on Saturday, April 29th. For more information or registration information, you can call Mr. Jordan Bordenoy at 359-2406. And then in the midst of that, we're gonna have our egg knocking festivities on Easter weekend, and I'll come back 
in March and talk to you about those things. Perfect. I can't wait to hear about that. The pocket on the bayou is always the big Pocking one, on right? Pocket on the bayou, <laughs> Easter, Easter on the red, and knock it on the square. Three events in a two-day period. And Fun. throw Easter in the middle of all of that. Well, next time you come, you're going to have to bring some eggs so we can do the egg knocking. We're going to park and see who the champion is. Okay, good. This sounds great. Wilbur, thanks so much for coming on the show today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me as always. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sin Law right after this break.